I'm here with uh, jazz musician uh, uh, Matt Roberts, who in his free time does, uh, what do you do? I work for About.com. Works, r runs About.com yes, for China, uh, which has a, a different sort of demographic in China or different interests than it would in the U.S. What are some of the guides that you have or interesting guides that you might not see so readily in the United States? Well, in the United States, the, the, the food guides are very popular, but certainly that's one of the most popular areas that we're seeing on our site in China. Um, we're, we have a lot of topics that are really relevant to a younger generation. Uh, if we look at our U.S. site, I think it's you can say that the demographics are more evenly spread out across all different age groups, whereas in China we're still focusing on a younger group of people. So as younger people, they're less concerned about... Less concerned about health, um, less concerned about retirement, uh, less concerned about the issues that, that are more important to... But very concerned about G.I. Joe? Well, yeah. The other thing I was <laughs> mentioning is um, hobbies is a, is a really important part of our site. We're, we're seeing some very, very... We've got some very passionate guides in the hobbies, uh, sports, travel... Okay, and some of the topics, specific topics, with G.I. Joe, you have a G.I. So Joe about guy. G.I. Joe's, we've got a guy that does that. We've got a guy on Gundam. Gundam um, being? Japanese action figure type okay. things. Um, and, and a lot of the very specific collectibles, uh, toy soldiers, we have a guide for that, dolls. Um, and we're finding there are very passionate people in these areas, people who've developed these hobbies and, and love to come interact with our guides online. Uh, and what about, you You just, you, you have some tie up with Baidu? What, how does that yes, work? What does yes, that mean? So Baidu being the largest search engine in China. So we, our guides are now being featured on the Baidu Knows, the Baidu Jardal Q&A platform. And so when, when a user comes to our site and wants to ask a question of one of our guides, they use the Baidu technology to submit that question. And the answers from our guides are part of the the greater Baidu Knows Q&A platform. So users who are looking for the best answer can see very clearly when the answer is coming from one of our credentialed expert guides. But aren't you just then losing traffic? Aren't I going to stay on Baidu and never go to about.com? Baidu, Baidu Knows is a huge platform. And what it does is it allows people who are going to the Baidu Knows platform to see the most credible answers more easily. And then if they want to dig deeper beyond those questions, they come to our platform as well. Okay, so, so, I, have so a, I, have a, I have a quick I have a quick question about something. Uh, if it's answered, I'm never going to go back again. But if, on the other hand, I'm obsessed with G.I. Joe, for example, I'll know that I can go to the G.I. Joe about .com expert at that point. And very often, the first question leads to the second question. And that's one of the things we do well on our site, is organize our content in a way that you can find what you're looking for uh, very often when you're on a Q&A platform, you know the first question, but you don't know how to get to the second one. Right. And what, what is the, the usage, usage rate of about.com, and how does that compare to the U.S. in China? Um, we're currently at about 5 million unique visitors coming to visit our site each month and growing. Uh, the U.S. site is much bigger than that. It's got about 80 million unique wow. visitors each month globally, and about half that in the U.S. But, of course, that's China is in Chinese and just one language. That's right. So... We're getting there. We're getting Fairly there. Large. We're growing. We're growing. <laughs> Excellent. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you, Tom.